News. Governor Rick Snyder approved right-to-work laws in Michigan one year ago with the promise of radically changing the state's business climate. I think it's very important. It's about giving workers choice and the freedom to choose. It's being pro-worker, not anti-union. And it's going to bring a lot of jobs to Michigan. Well, he was wrong. Right to work has done very little to bring jobs to the state of Michigan. In December 2012, Michigan's unemployment rate was 8.9 percent. Today, it is at 9 percent, the third worst in the nation. One year ago, thousands of union members and workers protested outside his office building, but Governor Snyder ignored them and signed a law that prevents Michigan companies from signing labor agreements requiring mandatory dues by employees in union workplaces. One of those protesters, who is a former Democratic congressman from Michigan, is now campaigning against Snyder in a run for governor. Joining us now is Mark Schauer, former congressman of Michigan. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you, Ed. What, why is Michigan's unemployment number so high? Where has Snyder failed? Well, I'll tell you, things would be a lot worse if it wasn't for the resurgence of the auto industry. And I was in Congress to help rescue the auto industry and the entire supply chain and many thousands of manufacturing jobs in Michigan. But you know, right to work or right to work for less, which it actually is, was is another one of Rick Snyder's failed economic policies in Michigan. This is a governor that said he was all about jobs, a, a business guy whose resume is very much like Mitt Romney, came in and cut a billion dollars from education, uh, half a billion dollars from our universities, raised taxes on retiree pensions, on families raising kids, and the lowest wage earners, all to give a $2 billion tax cut to corporations. It wasn't tied to creating one job. And then he said he wanted to be like other right-to-work states, including uh, neighboring Indiana, said this, you, the clip, played it would would create uh, jobs in Michigan yeah Rick Snyder and his economic development team can't point to one single job that's been created as a result of right to work or one business that's come to Michigan and you said it our unemployment rate is the third worst in the nation nine percent it's higher than it was a year ago when right to work w went into effect well if he's given all these tax breaks to these companies why aren't companies flocking to michigan if there's a lot of workers who are looking for work what's the problem well i can point to a number of companies that have left michigan including some manufacturers that went to indiana ironically who left? Uh, since right to work for less was passed but you know the governor's got it wrong. I mean, one of the reasons why an economist has said this, that uh, Michigan's economy is growing more slowly than the nation's economy, is that he's raised taxes on individuals that are living month to month. He's taking money out of their pockets that otherwise would be going into the economy. I mean, I guess that's the reason why Rick Snyder and, opposed and, and, my and, plan to raise Michigan's minimum wage to put more money back in people's pockets. How has he raised taxes on the people that you're just describing right now? What, what has he done? What taxes are about here. Well, you know, Michigan's economy was starting to come back when he took office in January of 2011. Uh, there was a structural budget deficit at the time because we still were digging out of a deep hole, yeah. but he made it worse. Uh, he uh, uh, cut, as I said, a, about a billion and a half in total from education uh, in order to give a corporate tax break. But then what he did was to pay for it, in addition to edu education cuts, he created a new retiree pension tax. People who've been promised this retirement income, he created a new tax on them. He also did away with it, something called the child tax credit that uh, for parents raising kids received a tax credit to pay for so those are two things he did. He, he got rid of the, two things he did right there. He, he, he put a tax on pensions, and he also got rid of the child tax credit, which of course would affect people's returns and their money coming back to them and their tax returns. Exactly. So, so he did and that he, to middle he class also families. Tried to, he tried to do away with the state's version of the earned income tax credit and dramatically reduced that, again, taking money out of the pockets of the lowest wage earners in our state. All things that are terrible to the economy, that combined with right to work, uh, you know, the experience from other states is it's done nothing but drive down wages for all workers. So your governor, what so are you going to do different from economics? Your, your governor, what are you going to do different for, in, in Michigan from what Snyder has done? <laughs> 
Well, I'm going to start by signing into law a repeal of right to work. Uh, it doesn't work. It's bad policy. Uh, it makes it more difficult for us to have a trained, skilled workforce. Sure. Uh, I'm going to repeal the the retiree pension tax, which is actually driving some people out of the great state of Michigan. Um, we need to have a fair tax code in Michigan. But to me, the number one uh, uh, investment we can make in building a strong economy, strong middle class, is education. And, uh, you know, so we need to, I will commit as governor to keeping our constitutional guarantee of a quality education for every child. And this governor has done just the opposite. How would you have handled Detroit quickly? Would you have uh, let the, the city go bankrupt? Would you have sought federal help? How would you handle Detroit? Well, I certainly, uh, you know, would have been a, a much stronger partner uh, with the city of Detroit and our, our core cities. Many promises have been broken to Detroit and our core communities. Do you agree but, with the financial yeah, manager's would... power? Do you agree with the financial manager's power? No, I mean, uh, that, th this current law provides, uh, you know, carte blanche authority. And, and I'll give you an example. I mean, they, they have, with this governor's approval, put cuts to retiree pensions yes. of uh, Detroit police and firefighters, public service workers. So you, you, you make, would not have you know, circumvented local elections and you would have not have put an fi emergency financial manager into Detroit. You would have done it totally different because know, that it, is fundamentally what is, what is unfolded. I mean, right. we, Detroit now has uh, a, a very capable new mayor, new city council. They need to be given the keys right. to run the city of Detroit. And you don't build a strong economy by cutting retiree pensions. All right. Con or, Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Mark Schauer running for governor in the state of Michigan. And, of course, the break.